You know, there's nothing quite like sunrise over a marsh. And long before I shot my first duck, my father would take me out. And I'll never forget sort of the first morning and the sounds and the night going to sleep and the daylight waking up and looking up and seeing pintails circling and everything. I was hooked at first. It's not always about the, the harvest anymore, it's about the hunt. Um, it's about being there and, and, and seeing and enjoying um, the flight of a wild duck. It's all about the appreciation that you, you have earned and learned from being a part of nature. I think the biggest single thing of the hunting activity was the family time that we, we spent around it and the close friends that we developed through our hunting activities and those people are uh, lifetime friends now. travel to other parts of the country and you become much more appreciative of what you have. There are beautiful spots all over America, but to me, I always come back here. I was fortunate enough to meet Hugh and his father and then Charles and, and with Coy, we have bonded a, a long time relationship that Forty years later, we're still hunting and fishing together. I was born and raised at Willtown Bluff Plantation, which is in the Ace Basin along the Edisto River in Charleston County. The water quality here is the best there is on the east coast of the United States. We have three rivers, the Edisto, the Ashapoo, and the Cumbie, and all of them are undeveloped. There's also minimal agriculture near these rivers, but these rivers originate in the swamps as opposed to in the mountains. When I was young, I remember driving to the country on a Saturday morning and they were putting more stop signs out and stoplights out on Highway 17. I said, Dad, if we don't do something, the city's going to come all the way to Willtown. And he said, well, then you need to do something about it. I ran into Coy Johnson, who I knew of because he was pretty widely known as Mr. Ducks Unlimited in South Carolina and we were the third property in the basin to put an easement on our property, but we were the first local person to do it. So he got a small group together, of which I said was Hugh Lane Sr. and Hugh and Charles, and decided that we wanted to try to see if we could protect some land through easements. Next thing you know, they, we decided that we would uh, start an Ace Basin initiative. One of the first part properties we bought, we bought down at Bear Island. Uh, there was a piece of property down there for sale, 35 acres. With our involvement with Ducks Unlimited, we understood conservation. And then when we got involved with the Ace Basin, it really became an advocation to try to protect the land and protect the scenery and to protect the environment that we were privileged to have here. And then we took the Ace Basin concept, which Coy was a key architect of preserving land by maintaining traditional land uses like farming, agriculture, hunting, fishing, and things of that nature. And collectively in the coastal areas of South Carolina, 1.1 million acres has been protected since 1985. And South Carolina's small state, in acres, we're 10th in the nation of acres under easement. People in South Carolina love their land. And when you start talking to a landowner about his, his land, you're talking something very close other than his family. And most of these plantations and, and land in this location has been passed down from generation to generation. <laughs> 